the Glamazon, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Beth Phoenix looks poised for competition here tonight. The following is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has cannons for arms, holding indomitable pillars of strength and beauty. In layman's terms, the Glamazon is jacked, stacked, and ready to break someone's back. Yeah, male or female, the Glamazon will wreck you. Just ask the Judgment Day, the Miz, Maurice, the list goes on and on. The HBIC is B-A-C-K. Mia Yim looking to make the most of this opportunity. And her opponents, first from Fontana, California, Michin, Mia Yim. The equalizer of the women's division, taking things to the next level. We know Michin is ultra grateful for the opportunity and has promised that she is not going to drop the ball. Eager to remind the WWE Universe what she's capable of. Yeah, Michael, and a win tonight will firmly establish Mia Yim in the women's division. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Hey, if you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stop you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. In-ring IQ will be tested in this triple threat match with Beth Phoenix, Mia Yim, and Charlotte. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where we start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. of reversals there. Hoist it up. Gut buster. <laughs> Into the corner now. STO. Oh, 
with this. She covers for the pin. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match. The threats are everywhere, Cole. Two opponents, zero rules. And on top of that, you don't have to be the one pinned to still lose the match. You have to be ready for anything. And Mia with the counter. Neck breaker excellently executed. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, 
proves to be too quick. The ground is on. Look at the behind her opponent. Who's in charge here? This deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may occur. You've got to think long term and consider your future fights. And I guarantee you that throwing in the towel is the furthest thing these superstars are thinking about. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. And that's going to keep Mia off balance. Beth has done a great job to stay alive, but has to think about ending matters quickly. Oh, and Beth fights back. Double chicken wing applied. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. That might topple the queen. I don't know where Charlotte found the strength to kick out of that one. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was not enough. Withstanding the onslaught of the two other superstars to stand tall and have their arm raised here and now. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that. <laughs>